Hello Leo Virgo, thank you so much for coming to my channel. This is going to be a full moon reading for you. So thank you for all the support, I really appreciate it. So if this doesn't connect with you, then just leave what doesn't work and connect. So thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes, I really appreciate it. So let's see what the overall energy of this reading is, Leo Virgo. Yin Yang, beautiful. So you are in a balance energy. You are at an energy where the positives and the negatives are going to balance out. So if you've been in an energy where the positives seem to, or the negatives seem to override, they are going to shift and balance out. Very beautiful. So let's see what else we can find out for you. Peregrine Falcon, Observation. So you are paying attention to what is going on around you. If there's anyone who comes across your radar and gives you a little blip, you are paying attention to what the radar is. And the radar, your radar is on point. Like if you, um, you get downloads of any indication of anybody trying to interfere in your energy, so I do see past life knowledge in there, past life in um, the Egyptian days, which is very prominent. The next one is authenticity, wolf energy. Wow, so you have observation, truth, authenticity, being true to yourself, not wanting to be around people who can't be true to themselves, people who want to lie to people or project a... A persona like, look at me, no I don't live on my credit cards, this is all mine, I own all this. You're aware of that, you're like, yeah, you can't pay for everything with your credit cards, which a lot of people do, and if you want to live that way, that's totally fine. But what I'm trying to get at is somebody's going to try and trick you. So people who live on their credit cards, that's fine if they tell you, but this person is like going to kind of portray that they're really rich, and they're not, basically. So let's go on. Wow, stability. Look at this. So this tells me a lot of you are bringing stability into you because you have observed what's going on and because you have been true to yourself. The universe is balancing the yin and yang for you. They are bringing you happiness because I feel like they kind of used you to play out the energy and people around you so you would have awareness of who was for your highest good and who was not. And that worked out for you, didn't it? I mean, you may have been really surprised at people who said something uh, that, oh, I care for you, I love you, but they never walked the walk. You know what I mean? People were very good at talking the talk, but when it came to the walk, and really people aren't very good at walking the walk around the overgo, I must say. A lot of people are not truthful, and when you are, they don't believe you. So people who aren't truthful are not going to believe you're truthful. And you can tell when they doubt you, you're like, oh, okay, they just outed themselves that they can't be truthful because they doubted me. I'm like that. If somebody thinks I'm a cheater, then they're a cheater because I don't cheat. So if they want to accuse me of it, they outed themselves. If somebody wants to accuse me of stuff, they usually are outing themselves. People tell on themselves. They're like little children. Alright, so the first one is Seven of Sky. So you're aware of somebody trying to take from you, somebody trying to um, do something when they think you're not looking. Fire Queen. So it's an angry female. Could be a Leo energy. And Six of Fire. So this could be somebody who was a lead position at an old job you had is what I see. Somebody who thought they were all that because they were in charge of everybody and what the boss failed to realize is they were really manipulating their time schedule they were manipula manipulating the people around them they had people who catered to them so um, like how do I say it so some people know how to say oh I want to work with Sally and then they go play for like four hours and they don't actually work this is the energy I see here and you're not like that Leo Virgo so, of course, people in that energy at your workplace will not get along with you. They won't like your authenticity. So, your authenticity will tell you who doesn't like you is not authentic. That's how that works. Look at this. Wow. So, the universe is lifting you out of something. They're guiding you to a tree of life. They're guiding you away from a difficult time to take you to a happier, better place. 
So, to a fire. You are looking over everything and what everyone has done in the past, and you're going to move forward, and in no way are you going to allow somebody from your past to put any ounce of negativity, any little gram of negativity towards you. You will keep them at where they are. So, ten of fire. So, there's an ending to chaos and drama. A lot of people tried to bring um, aggression, anger, energy to your life, I see. They tried to cause, like, drama moments. Like, oh, oh, Leo Virgo, look what just happened. Oh, my gosh, we just all had this falling out here. You know, just a lot of drama. And you were just like, I see it. I see it. And I can't believe it. <laughs> So the next one is judgment out. So the universe called judgment on these people who brought chaos into your life. The people who were not authentic, the people who were two-faced in your life, who told you one thing and then turned around and talked smack about you. Like you didn't know. So king of wands is somebody who is very, this is the king for me who is very, um, masculine. This king doesn't pay for oil changes. He doesn't king for the pay for the gutters, he doesn't pay for the landscaping. This is the king who can do everything himself. He's very productive, very self-reliant. Somebody a Leo Virgo would totally be in love with. So then we have Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is, I feel like your guard is up. So your guard is up for some reason. The universe may have gave you some kind of download about that King of Wands is what I'm seeing. You're looking at him. The universe called judgment on this person. Let's see what else we can find out. The wheel. So we have judgment and the wheel. So the universe shifted something for you to change your life to remove certain people. I can see a wheel spinning and I can see people just flying off the wheel that the universe doesn't want in your life. Can you see it? Like we're going to spin the wheel and all the people we don't want around Leo Virgo are going to fly off the wheel. And this is what I see. The universe instigated this for you on your behalf. Your angels and ancestors. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is talking about somebody being confused. I feel like this King of Wands may have been confused. He may have been involved with um, a lot of... What am I trying to say? A lot of inscrupulous behavior. I think that's the word that I'm thinking of. So let's keep going, and then we see the world. So look at this. You have the wheel, confusion, and the world. So people are going to be saying, how did Leo Virgo do that? How in the heck was she here one day, and then she's here the next day? How did she move about that fast? How did her life alter that drastically? Pentacles, that's how. So you did something creative to bring pentacles and stability to yourself. I don't know if it's a job. I don't know if you learned how to invest. But you have stability. You know how to bring um, the stability to your life. Seven of Swords. So confusion again. The universe is confusing people. They're like, wait, wait a minute. I thought I took this from Leo Virgo. I thought I broke them. I thought they would fall down because I took this from them. And the universe is saying, yeah, we set you up so you take that from them, but Virgo has, Leo Virgo has all they need and they're out of here. They're gone. So the universe protects you. Do you see almost like people who aren't authentic, uh, People who aren't authentic and who try to come in your energy, you have protection to, I'm hearing, displace that energy. High Priestess, here you are. I think you may have had this card twice in there. So you have a lot of ability to read between the lines, a lot of ability to read energy and read people's intentions, and people don't understand how you can do this. You may not even understand how you can do it. You understand it came from your higher power, your DNA, your bloodline, and hopefully you are accepting of that, that not everybody has those strong qualities or aptitudes in their family structure to be able to progress. But how do I say it? Um, so, but before you came down here, Leo Virgo, you made a blueprint and the universe asked you, you know, this is what's been done to your family line for this long, this many years. Do you feel like, Leo Virgo, you can go down there and you can right the wrongs? Do you feel like you can do this and this and this? 
And you may have said yes, you may have said no. But I do feel like this is what was played out before you and they asked you if you could handle all these energies coming at you and still keep your wits about you. And you can see the answer. You obviously said yes because you're here. So then we have Nine of Cups. You are very secure and stable in yourself. You are so confident in making choices for yourself that it makes you um, vibrate higher because you don't second guess yourself. You don't doubt yourself. You can make a decision and be fine with it because you just listen to your intuition. Death, wow, an ending. So there's an ending after you have a new cycle, a new, I feel like you're having new a lot of things. Like, I don't know if you're going to relocate, you're going to buy a new house, a new car, um, just a lot of new things coming into your life. I see like an overhaul is what I'm hearing, overhaul of your life in a most positive way. We see the chariot, which is victory and success that you plan that you saw coming in your life that you anticipated was going to go the way it did and you were correct so i do see the nine of pentacles look at this so nine of pentacles again confirmation of how confident you are how secure you are in your choices your um self-worth and the choices you make and the last card of this deck is the sun look at this beautiful so here's the death card and there's the sun so anyone who tried to do death magic on you anyone who tried to do black magic on you you were protected during this and that is going to be um deflected back onto whoever sent that your way i mean the sun card clarifying the death card wow is all i can say victory success stability, self-confidence, and happiness. I mean, wow, wow, wow. So, Earth Chalice, beautiful. So you're grounded. You can grow anything, Leo Virgo. You could grow a family, you could grow a garden, you could grow a house, you could grow whatever you want. You are a very good manifester. Divine order. Everything happens in divine order according to the universe because they know what needs to happen for our highest good and we're not so sure. So very powerful. You're grounded and everything happens in order for your benefit. King Arthur. Beautiful. So King Arthur to me is the card that represents the person who protects the underdog. The person who will go after somebody who thinks they're almighty but trying to keep somebody who's weaker than them stuck. Somebody who um, plays with the universe. Somebody who thinks their negative energy can trump the positive energy of the Leo Virgo. So I do see you have a lot of virtuosity I'm hearing. Um, in this lifetime, you know it. Other people see it. They don't like seeing it, but it is what it is. So really beautiful reading. Let's finish off with the yin and yang. Your life is balancing. You are coming into a peace energy. Things are going to level out for you, and you're going to be happy because of the choices you've made up to this point in your life. Thank you so much, and bless you.